using hyperlinks and links in your work. Writing on the web is a lot different than writing on paper. When you post on your blog, wiki, or website, you're not only getting your ideas to a wider audience, you're also using the resources of the web in a way that is interactive. If you've used the internet at all, and even in this course, you're familiar with links. Links are simply the highlighted or underlined words or words within a text that you can click on and link to more information. Links are great because they allow you to go deeper into what you're writing about without having to write too much. For example, you may read the following paragraph. Today I found a great website for a virtual tour of the Sistine Chapel in Rome, Italy. The site makes you feel like you are actually in the Sistine Chapel. I can't wait to spend more time on it. That's interesting for that the writer found a great site, but what could be done to add more information? If this was a paper, the writer might add quite a bit more descriptive information about the site. However, if this piece of writing is a blog post, what is currently written is enough. If the writer had included a link within the text to the website, check this version out instead. You can see that there is a link put in that links to the site. I'm going to show you real quickly how to an easy way to include hyperlinks in things like uh, blog posts, and websites and wikis and even in Word documents and you'll be able to see pretty quickly that the process is generally the same. So let's look for example at this course. Um, this is a module I wrote on a website and if you notice right here um, there's some text that I put in that says click here if you want to get it. Um, it was a link to Windows Live Movie Maker and so I'd like to include a link to make it easy for the users to find this page. So I'm going to go to, to my editing mode and there it is and so here is that text click here if you want to get it. The website that I want to show them to link to is Get Movie Maker. So there's my site. I copy the URL. I go back to my editing page I highlight the text, click here if you want to get it, and I click this little link. Usually the, the linking tool in any site is represented by a little chain link. So when I click it, I have a place where I can put that link. I paste it in. And oftentimes now most sites will offer you the option to open the link in a new window. I like to do this because I don't like to completely remove the user from the site that I'm on. So that if I have this option, open the link in a new window, I'll take it. And I save it and now that text is highlighted so when I publish this and go back to my site and reload it you'll see that now this is a linkable text and if I click here if I want to get it that's exactly where I'm going to go and it's opened it in a new window um, the other place that I can add, easily add links, is in places like blogs. This is a blog post about a tool called Easily. It's a, for making infographics. And so I notice as I'm proofreading my blog that I have noted um, the Easily, the name of the Easily website, but I haven't put in a link to it, and that would be helpful to users who are reading this article. So I go into the, um, I go into the editing mode on my blog. And there it is, and there's that word easily. Um, I go over to the easily site that I have open. I copy and paste the URL, or copy the URL, go back to my blog. I highlight that link, the text that I want to link, and up here in the toolbar it says link. In this case, it's not a little chain link sign. It actually says link, so I click it. And I paste the URL one right there, and it gives me the option of opening the link in a new window, so I'll take it. And there it is. And now I can update that draft. And there it is with the, the link right to it so that my user can click it and go right to the site that I'm talking about. Um, the last, another place I'll show you is in wikis, if you're familiar with wikis at all. This is a wiki um, for students with some information about Western Europe. Um, there is an interesting uh, article on electric cars in Norway that I wanted to add a link to for students looking for resources on this site. So I go to edit it, and I'm going to highlight this text, and I'm going to, there's the, the chain link and the word link, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to check over here. Here's the um, 
the website for that article. I'm going to highlight the URL and copy it. I'm going to go back and I want this to be a web address that I'm linking to in a new window and now I'm going to paste the address in and add the link and save it. And now my wiki has an active link to that website. Um, the last place I'm going to show you for easy ways to make links is within uh, even Word documents. You can create hyperlinks. So for example, if I wanted to make the same um, kind of link within a Word document, I'd simply highlight it. And up here in the toolbar, I go insert hyperlink or command K and it gives me a chance to link to and I paste in that website and now this is hyperlinked text within my Word document and that's how easy it is to make links. Links can really enhance any writing on the web.